Welcome to the Temple of Edfu, one of the best preserved ancient monuments in all of Egypt. Located on the west bank of the Nile, this temple is dedicated to the falcon-headed god Horus, a powerful deity in ancient Egyptian mythology. The temple stands as a testament to the grandeur of Egyptian architecture during the Ptolemaic period, which lasted from 305 BC to 30 BC. Construction of the Temple of Edfu began in 237 BC under Ptolemy III and was completed around 57 BC during the reign of Ptolemy VII, the father of the famous Cleopatra. The temple was built to honor Horus, who, according to legend, fought and defeated his uncle Seth in a fierce battle to avenge the death of his father, Osiris. This myth is depicted throughout the temple in beautifully detailed carvings and inscriptions, which offer a vivid portrayal of the ancient Egyptian beliefs surrounding the gods, the afterlife, and cosmic order. As we enter through the towering pylons, which are about 37 meters high, you'll notice the massive carvings of Horus overpowering Seth. These carvings represent the eternal struggle between good and evil. The pylons also feature scenes of the pharaoh presenting offerings to Horus and other gods, emphasizing the divine connection between the king and the gods. Beyond the entrance lies the great courtyard, a spacious open area where festivals and ceremonies were held. This courtyard was a gathering space for both the priesthood and the public during religious festivals. At the far end of the courtyard, you'll find the outer hypostyle hall. Its columns are adorned with intricate floral patterns representing the lotus and papyrus plants, which symbolize Upper and Lower Egypt, respectively. The roof of this hall still remains intact, giving you an idea of how imposing and magnificent it must have been during its peak. Moving deeper into the temple, we enter the inner hypostyle hall, which is more restricted and only accessible to priests. This area is darker, symbolizing the journey from the everyday world into the sacred and mysterious realm of the gods. The walls here are covered with hieroglyphics that tell the story of the rituals performed in honor of Horus, including the annual Feast of the Beautiful Reunion, where Horus would travel to visit his wife, Hathor, at the Temple of Dendera. At the heart of the temple is the sanctuary, the most sacred part of Edfu Temple. This room once housed a golden statue of Horus and his sacred bark, which was used to carry the god during processions. The sanctuary is made of black grac granite, and while the original statue is no longer here, you can still see the altar where offerings were made. One of the most interesting features of the Temple of Edfu is the Nilometer, a device used to measure the level of the Nile River's waters. This was incredibly important for the ancient Egyptians as the annual flooding of the Nile brought fertile soil to their farmlands. The priests would use the Nilometer to predict the flood level and determine how successful the harvest would be, which in turn influenced the amount of taxes that would be collected. As we explore the outer walls of the temple, you'll notice that they tell a chronological story of the construction and history of the temple. These carvings also feature accounts of how the temple was used and the daily life of the priests who maintained it. Despite being built over 2,000 years ago, Edfu Temple has survived remarkably well due to the protection offered by desert sands that buried it for centuries. Its rediscovery and excavation in the 19th century have allowed us to appreciate the splendor of ancient Egyptian religious architecture. Today, the temple offers a glimpse into the world of ancient Egypt and the role religion played in their society. As we conclude our tour, take a moment to admire the scale and beauty of the Temple of Edfu. It's a reminder of the extraordinary achievements of the ancient Egyptians, not just in terms of engineering, but also in their devotion to their gods and their understanding of the world around them. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history.